Do you live in town or in the country? No, in the country. country, in the country yeah, yeah. With the mountains. I imagine right. you in the country. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The mountains would be uh, the... Uh, Appalachians. Uh, yeah. Well, Smoky Mountains. Smoky the Great Smoky Mountain. Mountain National Park is there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nice, huh? Yeah. 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 Any time of year it is. Do you get to do your uh, uh, stories and things like at uh, events or yes. places or yes. wherever you can or wherever you want to? Or? Yeah. I Many times I will work for festivals and fairs and private functions, things yeah. like that. And then other times people hire me where I'm uh, an opening act. I've done opening acts for Tammy Wynette, Billy Ray Cyrus, Diamond Reel, Johnny Paycheck, Emilio. And, and uh, so they hire me to warm up the crowd. And yeah, I also yeah. do indoor, uh, like I say, conventions and such. So, so that's a kind hired. of a type A personality cowboy cat yeah. person. Yeah. 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 Indeed. I always knew our generation would go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One night, I'll tell you a story. We were working cattle, everything was quiet. It's now getting dark. All that's left is a fire there, just a little bit. And everybody's laying around the ground, sleeping in their bags. Wes came up to me and he says, we got a storm coming. He says, you better head for cover. And I said, uh, where are you guys? Under the trailer. I said, is there any room? He said, no whole bunch of us. I got smart. I decided to go inside the trailer. Lightning is now cracking. Rain's coming horizontal. I put this plastic tarp down, uh, my sleeping bag there, took my boots off, set them down. Oops, excuse me. And I, woke, I slept like a baby. The wind and everything, it was just incredible. I was out like a light. The next morning, I got up and I had slid off the plastic. My uh, sleeping bag was in it. And it is liquid horse poop. <laughs> I'm and, and it ran in my boots and I had to clean all up and I had to ride drag. That's the back of the herd for the next couple of days. So that was my punishment oh. <laughs> for being stupid. Oh. Yeah. That was in your book, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was in my book. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you feel like you've never done anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Stan Jones, some cowboy named Stan Jones. I think he ate some some sort of cactus out there in the desert and he envisioned some things, you know. Yeah. Some say it was true story, mystical. Hmm. Probably Cowboys and Aliens. Yeah. You ever see that movie? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Cause he's in the sky. 
be I If you Ghost riders in the sky Gary Cowboy Songs. <laughs> Yay. I like to put a little twist on the songs I've got. Yeah. What else can we talk about? Uh, ever throw a horseshoe? <laughs> you yeah, know. Well, I got scraped off a horse once uh, a couple times. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Colorado. Uh, yeah, we had a teepee in a tent of uh, Hunter Creek Valley up above Aspen, Colorado there. Had a few horses up there and this one. He just can't take his horse. And he scraped me off. We were running into a low-hanging tree, you know. He wasn't. Yeah, but that felt good. Wasn't used to riding on that one. And then yeah. We had a horse over there in Cedar Falls. He took off. It was a, what was his name? A Gandalf. Named after the, uh, he was a big white horse, you know, Gandalf. He looked like Gandalf. The, uh, Gandalf. And, uh, boy, got some saddle sores off that run. But when the horse knows where they're going, though, and, yeah. you know, they just want to run, you know. They yeah. don't want to wait for you, who happens to be on their back. Yeah. They're just going to take off. And... Yeah, that's right. I remember my first horse bite through a fence right there on the old thigh. Oh, I bet that felt good. Left a row of teeth marks for quite yeah. a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Other than that, most of my other horse uh, adventures have been good. Uh, I used to have a big a Pinto Appaloosa mare named Dolly back when we were on the farm in Iowa Falls, and uh, that horse was like riding a locomotive. It was uh, yeah. Just go with the bridle and get up there, no saddle or anything. Oh. Tear across the fields and it's a giant horse. Yeah. Yeah, I tried that one time, going on without a saddle. Grabbed the mane, jumped, threw myself over, and broke my rib. Slid right down. <laughs> Those things not to do. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, well, it's really good to see you again, man. Oh, uh, man, it's unbelievable. Idea you, man. Uh, who would have thunk it? Yeah. Uh, mystery has never ceased to amaze me. Um, you're always going to run into somebody you uh, used to know or don't know or should know or uh, will know. Or, uh, <laughs> I guess that covers yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, so what's uh, what's uh, next? When is this uh, uh, concert uh, thing at Happy's? Yeah, it's at Happy's, and it's limited seating, so people can buy online now or take their chance at, at the door, of course. And that's uh, July 31st on a Thursday night. From uh, the, the, the Happy's is going to be open from 6 to 11, but the show will be from 7 to 9. And it's $6 a head, yeah. and that's pretty much it. Well, that's really cool. Uh, I tell you, Dave and Cricket and all, all the guys they play with, they're just great guys. And yeah. I, you, know, you can trust them. They're really uh, just good musicians. They've hung in uh, with a lot of years and um, been good to hang around. You know, so. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. We should all be uh, cowboys uh, riding across the range someday. is it about that? You know, you grew up, uh, I remember Bob Wilson and Texas Playboys would do these great horse scenes where they're all on horses, and but they got violins with them, you know, and they're all playing around. You know, I go, I want to do that, you know, I'll play fiddle on, the, on a horseback, you know, that looks fun. It uh, looks a little tricky, but, uh, you know. Uh, all the music that come around from those days, uh, growing up with people like, uh, you know, Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and things, and a lot of those guys, gee, I mean, they were singing cowboys. Those guys had some other stuff together. That, yeah. You know, they could pick. Uh, they're awesome. And, yeah. They're really some neat people. Uh, yeah. And uh, all those guys. This is the Gene Autry song. All you little buckaroos and buckarettes out there. <laughs> well, 
I'm back in the saddle again Out where a friend is a friend Worship out every night And the only law is right Back in the saddle again well, I'm riding that range once more Toting my old 44 figure eight with a piece of leather and they have to go back on their back and then hop on the front. <laughs> Next morning, first time I'd ever seen this, they're like a mile away. In the middle of the night, they hop way down in the ravine. <laughs> yeah, horses can hop. Oh, they're hobby horses. Hop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got uh, jumping mules and everything too. I mean, uh, jumping, uh, yeah. jumping uh, things. They do that at, uh, at fairs and things. It's kind of a contest thing. It's, you know, it's like a horse high jump thing. Yeah, where, pretty funny. They measure how high they're jumping, and I go, yeah. Things you just don't see every day. Yeah, that's right. Well, David Nelson Nelson right here. Uh, give a man a hand for coming around. Pretty good to see you again. Hey. We're like old classmates, practically, yes. you know. Yes. That. Thanks awesome. to our neighbors. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, hopefully really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. God bless Baker Hall and Stonehouse. Well, it comes back around, doesn't it? <laughs> So be careful 